Welcome to Circuit Buddy. It is the first lecture of the digestive system lecture series. Today we will be discussing about the anatomy and the function of tongue. This topic is very important for me. So let us discuss it in details. Okay. Now what is tongue? Tongue is an accessory digestive organ which is made up of skeletal muscles. Where is it located? It is located on the floor of the mouth. It is attached to the floor of the mouth ventrally by this fold which is called the lingual frenulum. Lingua means tongue. Okay. On either side of the lingual frenulum, there are these deep lingual veins present. More laterally, you can find plica fim fimbriata. Okay. There are also folds. So plica fimbriata are present more laterally to the deep lingual fence. No papillae is present on the ventral surface of the tongue, which means no taste perception, or you can say no taste bars. Now let's talk about the dorsal surface of the tongue. The dorsal surface of the tongue has been divided into two parts by these inverted v set furrow which is called the sulcus terminalis the posterior part is called the pharyngeal part which is one third part the anterior two third parts is called the oral part okay now at the apex of this furrow we have This foramen or opening, which you can call the foramen cecum. Okay. Let's talk about the papillae that are present on the dorsum of the tongue. So, papillae. The first type of papillae are the valid papillae or the circumvalid papillae okay so they are the valid papillae the circumvalid papillae are present in front of the sulcus terminalis and they are in general 8 to 12 in numbers the valid papillae are the largest papillae okay so if you talk about them they are the largest ones This papillae contains up to 100 taste buds and they are basically cylindrical projections okay surrounded by sulcus and the taste buds are present on their walls. The valid papillae are very important for taste perception okay. Now let us talk about the filiform papillae. You can see this is the filiform papillae. A filiform papillae is the smallest papillae that is present on the dorsum of the tongue, but it is the most abundant type of papillae. Okay, and it is present in the center of the tongue, okay, and on other parts also. So you can say that it is, it is the most abundant but the smallest type of papillae present on the dorsum of the tongue. The filiform papillae does not contribute in taste perception because they don't have any type of taste bars. Okay, so they are most abundant but they don't have any taste bars. So taste bars absent. Okay. Now, let us talk about another type of papillae that is called the fungiform papillae. The fungiform papillae is somewhat larger than the filiform papillae but smaller than the valid papillae. The fungiform papillae is present in the apex region or the teeth of the tongue. Okay. 
it is called fungiform because it looks like a fungus so it looks like a mushroom actually so it has a narrow neck but its head portion is somewhat large okay the fungiform family has five taste buds in each of them okay another type of papillary that is called the foliar papillary okay now the foliar papillary is present just in front of the circumpallid papillary and the sulcus terminalis you can easily see by the name foliar means leaf so they are actually leaf shaped papillary okay leaf shaped papillary now the various tastes that we can have due to the different types of taste buds present in the dorsum of the tongue are sweet salty sour bitter etc okay the most part of the tongue this is the epiglottis this fold is called the gluso epiglottic fold but it is called the median gluso epiglottic fold so this is the median gluso epiglottic fold there are two other folds that are called the lateral gluso epiglottic folds this depressed area is called the fallacula the lymphatic tissues that are present in the pharynx and the oral part forms a ring like structure which is called the waldeer ring to remember the waldeer ring let us talk about a very important trick which is palpitation okay so this word will help us to remember the various types of tonsils that are present in the pharynx and the oral parts the p means pharyngeal tonsil okay so this is waldeer ring this tonsil is actually attached to the pharynx now we have l and this lingual tonsil so this is attached to the pharyngeal part of the tongue and that's why it is called the lingual tonsil you can see this is the lingual tonsil now we have the palatine tonsil okay so you can see this is the palatine tonsil is present and next we have the tubal tonsils tubal tonsils which is present around the eustachian tube which is a tube like structure a connection between the middle ear and the nasopharynx okay now this is called the waldeer ring because these tonsils make up a ring like structure and that's why it is called waldeer ring okay now this is the overall anatomy now let's talk about the function of tongue the tongue plays a very important role in the digestion of food the food that we eat is mixed with the saliva secreted by the various salivary glands by the action of the tongue okay number 2 the tongue has taste buds these taste buds are very very important to perceive taste number 3 the tongue helps us to talk okay so it has very important role in speech okay or sound production 
So there are other important functions of tongue. So thank you very much for being with me.